The Nigeria's Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, a gauge for manufacturing sentiment, has sustained an upward trajectory as it hit 54.0 in May at 54.0 uh, in May, up from 53.8 in April. The index signaled a solid improvement in business conditions that was the most marked in 2023 so far. The Purchasing Managers Index indicated that the Nigerian private sector continued to recover from the cash crisis in May as access to money improved and businesses' conditions are returned to normality. So, let's uh, get talking now. We have a guest uh, joining us to look at this. Um, Rafa is Charles Fakoha, iBrand TV senior analyst, joining us to look at the, the impact of this on the economy. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Charles. We, are, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm. Okay, so uh, talk to us about this particular report. Uh, so w what's your take? It, it looks like it, the economy, it, despite the, uh, the negative uh, uh, report, that is the GDP was in the negative 2.3%, uh, 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 in the month of... Uh, uh, the month of, uh, well, I uh, beg your pardon now, the first quarter of the year, rather. So <laughs> we, we saw that... Enough. Can you hear me? We saw that the manufacturing uh, um, uh, purchasing managers in, in index has improved tremendously. So how do you address these disparities? Yes, thank you very much. Well, first of all, it goes to show that um, the Nigerian private sector is very resilient Despite all the negative macroeconomic conditions, you can see that businesses are still doing their best to remain in business. And for the Purchasing Managers Index, of course, that is an indi indices, an indicator that the Nigerian private sector is really doing their best to remain in business. So you can see coming from a, the uh, from 53.8 up to almost 54 points in May shows that the purchasing manager index has improved. And at the same time, that indicates that business conditions has improved for the private sector, not because the government has done anything, but because the managers who run these firms are determined to be in business and they are very resilient. You must also try to understand what is this purchasing manager index trying to do? You know, when you measure that economic, uh, microeconomic um, indicator, it looks at the new orders, it looks at outputs, what has been, is being produced. It also looks at the employment situation. Are these firms able to employ people? Because if there is increase in output, increase in new order, of course, they will want to increase their staff strength. Then, of course, the supplier's delivery time. How is the business environment? Hello, Charles. Hello, Charles. C can you hear me? Are you there? Well, it looks like we lo lost connection with Charles there. But uh, I think the next question we should start asking is how does the government intend to, you know, support these uh, uh, a uh, glimpse of hope we're beginning to see. We saw the manufacturer, the purchasing managers index uh, data went up in April uh, to 53.8%, and now we're seeing it for May 54.0 uh, points there. So that's to show that, that the economy is recovering. So we may be, we may have a different uh, report uh, in the, for the second quarter in terms of economic growth. So uh, Charles, if you are there, talk to us. It looks like uh, but with this report we're getting, um, so. Uh, the second quarter uh, uh, economy in the second quarter is likely to grow beyond expectations. So, what's your position? Yes, I think I agree with that pos positive outlook mm. because um, when you when you look at these numbers that are coming, yes, it shows that in the second quarter and of course with a new regime and with that renewed hope. I see a positive outlook and I agree with that analysis that yes, we're going to be seeing a lot of, a bit of growth moving into the third quarter of the year. Mm. Now, so the, the next question I would like to ask you is what and what 
the government, the current gov administration of, uh, you know, President Tinubu, should start doing now. Yeah, we're, we're still in the midst of uh, uh, subsidy removal saga, and of course that conversation or negotiations are still ongoing between the Trade Union uh, um, Congress and, of course, the NLC, which is still ongoing, but you do not know how that will end. So what and what should the government start doing now to support these uh, um, projections? Yes, what the government has started by discussing with the labor union because for you to have economic growth, you must have industrial peace. So by the time the government is able to come to an agreement with labor, and of course, labor wants their workers to have good welfare. Once that is settled, then the government needs to create that enabling environment. And how do they have to do that? They have to be transparent. The economic team must be on ground. It is very, very important. Economic team must be on ground. Then they must carry along all the stakeholders. It is very, very important. With this renewal up of the government, Nigerians are willing to do what it takes to support this government. Nigerians have already made up their mind. Subsidy has gone. They are making a sacrifice. They want to see government to also make their own sacrifice in terms of being transparent, honesty and having a good economic team. This is the only way they can create that enabling environment for this positive projection mm. to be actualized. Even though these figures uh, have shown a bit of uh, hope uh, and in terms of uh, outlook for the third quarter going into the third quarter, we also need to start factoring in, you know, some, some uh, you know, some... Um, issues of some, some factors into this now first is uh, household consumption which of course has dropped uh, drastically to around four uh, uh, percent so let's talk about how to improve household spending and we need to look at that as well um, because at the moment salary is not increasing and i'm not sure if uh, employers are ready to bear uh, you know additional cost because the subsidy issue is going to really heighten a lot of uh, uh, you know, trigger a lot of cost overhead costs in the coming days. So, talk to us about how should we marry the two together, household income, and of course ensure that we address the issue of inflation and pressure. Yes, we have to look at this from a different perspective. The inflation we are having is already been established that it is not a demand push inflation. It's a cost push inflation. That is cost of input have gone up and that is why the prices of items are up. Now, what the government needs to do, you have said household spending has also gone down because purchasing power has gone down because of um, inflation. Is again, going back to the basis. Ensure that there is power so that cost of manufacturing will be a bit less. So that when manufacturers, where they produce the output, the cost will be reasonable for the household to purchase. And because the issue is not even increasing salary. Yes, yeah, salary is due for increment and review. But we need to make cost of inputs that manufacturers are using to produce. We need to make it affordable for them so that by the time they produce, then the prices of their items will not be so high. Then we need to increase the purchasing power of average household. And how do we do that? It's to increase supply of this product so that the product will be available. And once that is done, you will see that prices of items will come down. Workers will not even need to agitate so much for increase in salaries or wages. So we need to do all this for us to begin to follow and, and implement some of these policies create that enabling business environment. And once these businesses are able to operate without much issue, then we will see prices of items coming down, now affordable for the average household. And of course, we will see inflation coming down. But if we don't increase supply of these our outputs by making this output cheap in terms of what these private sector people use in production, then we are going to see the inflation figures going up again, despite the 
manufacturing uh, managers uh, uh, purchasing uh, index that is uh, showing us positive uh, projection.